Welcome to the Business English Podcast, the best place for non-native professionals to learn how to communicate clearly and confidently. My name is Tanya Suarez, and in each episode, you're going to learn specific skills to develop your corporate communication, American pronunciation, and career strategy in order to build the life you deserve. Let's jump right in to part one. What I help my students with is how to speak American English naturally and confidently. So I don't really focus on grammar or vocabulary building. That happens throughout the process, but that's not my focus. So during our lessons, I really work with mostly upper intermediate to advanced or fluent speakers who, and tell me if this is you, who feel like they know English, they have studied it, but when they speak, they feel nervous, they feel stuck, they feel frustrated, like they have all of these ideas they wanna share, but they're just not coming out in a way that's cool. Um, they also feel maybe they're not themselves. They feel like how, when they speak English, that, that doesn't reflect their personality. So if these are struggles that you have, that's where I come in. I'm going to help you unlock your potential with communication. I'm going to teach you how to use the English that you know to be able to have conversations naturally and in a relaxed way. Even if you're talking to a fast speaking native speaker, there are ways and things that you can do so that you always feel in control or comfortable. The other thing is, you might be kind of boring right now. Do you feel like you're boring when you speak English? Don't worry, you're not boring. You just haven't practiced how to be interesting. So a lot of my students have amazing personalities in their native language, but when they speak English, they feel stiff or robotic or just frustrated, right? So what I'm going to help you do is identify your personality and then build your English conversational skills around that. So that when you do have these moments of interactions or conversations, you feel genuine and you feel comfortable. Are you excited? <laughs> okay, so if your goal is to improve your pronunciation and intonation so that you sound fluid, not necessarily fluent, I really do focus more on fluidity, which means you speak naturally. And you're not worried about being perfect, you wanna be awesome, then that's me. Like really, I'm serious. Like so many students think they have to have perfect grammar or they're really worried about making mistakes, especially my perfectionists out there. Trust me, I feel you, I'm the same way. But it really is about letting go of needing to be perfect and embracing being awesome. A great way to get more English speaking practice is to start your own podcast. Spotify for Podcasters makes it so easy to record, edit, and distribute your podcast right from your phone or computer. So no matter what your setup is like or how much experience you have or don't have, you can start creating today. Not only is it simple, it's totally free. I decided to start my podcast with Spotify and it's helped me reach hundreds of thousands of people. So download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. For more business English resources like articles, videos, courses, and one-to-one -one coaching with me, head over to tanyasuarez.com.